All right, hey Taurus. <clears throat> so, you guys, I'm doing a singles read for you. And uh, I think the last one I did was a depiction of a soulmate um, type of energy coming in. But this one right here, it, it's going to be a soul connection. There is a soul tie here. There's a soul bond here. But the emphasis on this one is for any situation. So this could be a return of a past love. It could be a new love. Um, just whatever energy is channeled the most. So check your moon rising and Venus placements in case um, something starts to show of somebody of the past and you do not want nobody from the past. All right. So you're going to know this is your read kind of by the dynamic that's coming through with these cards. I'm going to clarify. I'm going to get your energy and your situation. Um, so at the end, we'll do initials. Remember, initials do not have the emphasis on the read. It's what comes out in the cards. Um, what else? I think that's all. Look at that. And as I was saying, soulmate. Okay, look at you guys are coming through with soulmate and heart to heart conversations. So um, yes, this is your soulmate, whether it's somebody from the past, somebody new coming in. And I, I do feel with this heart to heart conversations coming through that you guys are going to have a lot of in depth and deep uh, conversations moving forward, uh, forward, regardless of what type of connection it is. Okay. Um, so let's I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is pull a little bit more to see the um, to see the dynamic and why these cards are coming through. So for Taurus, let's just get a little bit more info on the dynamic. All right, so the Ace of Wands. Um, <clears throat> what this is saying right here. All right. So you guys have, um, King of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Swords coming through. All right. So the dynamic of this energy altogether is, okay, what I feel is, um, there's a lot, there's stress and I feel like it's, it's stress, it's worry, it's anxiety. And it could be because, um, this is a connection that has, um, you know, been something in the past at some point in time, it doesn't have to be, um, but there should actually never be that much stress, worry, anxiety, losing sleep over something that is brand new, right? It could be too, that maybe you're just used to, um, you know, getting your energy manipulated and, um, you know, played around with by energies that, um, you know, surround you. And that's what your fear is. So you meet somebody, um, they come in and it's like a scary type of love. And so you're kind of worried before it even gets started. All right. Um, you guys could be dealing with, um, Sagittarius, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, a fire sign that comes through here. But what this is telling me, this ace of wands, this is a depiction of new beginnings, um, but it's also telling me with between the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Um, so potentially you guys could be drawn here for a confirmation read. I almost feel like for some of you guys, it's like your feelings are getting really super um, all in deep. If this is a confirmation, especially if it's by a, like a friend with benefit type of situation. And you could be like, it could be new to you. I mean, um, friends with benefits casual type of dating um, situations they're they're not an energy that you've been tied to or deeply connected with all right so you you won't have um, a lot of uh, emotional scars or wounds on your heart um, but it's almost kind of like this I feel like there could be um, some attributes or aspects if you guys are in that situation that um, it, it's like it's getting to the point where it's almost like um, we need to figure out what is going on here. All right. Now, if this is just brand new straight energy, it's like, I almost feel like there's going to be a fear here that's projected onto this because of the deep connection with the soulmate energy that you're fearing it before you even allow it to start. So don't do that. Okay. Um, but I almost feel like too, with this heart to heart conversations and the soulmate card coming through, um, you guys are going to have a conversation in such a way that this, um, whole, a dynamic of whatever it is it shifts so even if you meet somebody in the next 30 days and it starts out as a friend with benefits um i i almost feel like you guys are going to energetically connect um instantaneously in such a way that um it, it shifts the dynamic of of what you felt it was going to be okay if that makes sense so taurus your energy right now 
we have the three of cups the strength card and the seven of swords all right and i feel like the seven of swords card coming through this is going to be more about energy that you, you fear you fear um getting hurt rejected um gaslighted you fear um the unknown you fear somebody's going to take your heart and, and and they're going to pull it out of your chest and just um you know break you down to pieces what I feel like your angels and your spirit guides are saying when it comes to this energy is you you cannot go into something, especially if it's new, um, anticipating that every single person is some is like somebody from your past. All right. It, you're, you're being told right now just to hang in there um, with the strength card. And I feel like you are you're doing that. Um, with the three of cups, it's like you do want unity. You want to be together with this person, but it's almost like you have a fear. You cannot fear something before it even starts. Um, otherwise, it's going to keep happening and keep happening and keep happening. All right. Um, and even if you again, even if you haven't met this person, I almost feel like there's a fear in you before you do your situation right now. You're coming through with the Empress card the four of swords so your energy right now this could be a depiction of just really focusing on yourself um, focusing on your own um, stability focusing on um, balancing your divine feminine energy and um, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman i just feel like this card coming through is is right here it says that you're you're just focusing on um better bettering yourself and your surroundings and everything that is around you all right um, so your situation, I feel is far more positive than your actual energy. Um, and I almost want to tell you just to, to kind of put everything into that perspective. Um, so with what's going on here, I, 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 I here's what I'm going to say. I do feel like for whoever I am um, reaching, you are in a position. I do feel like you're ready. All right. To have the heart to heart conversation. I feel like you're ready to receive your soulmate. I feel like the four of swords says, you know what? You've been on a break for, for a long time. And you know what? Sometimes we get comfortable in those breaks and that four of swords energy is a depiction saying this is telling me basically you guys have not been on the dating scene. You haven't dated in a while. You you could be messing around with people. You could be, you know, friends with benefits. You could be sleeping with people. Um, but I with the six of coins coming through, I feel like this is your energy saying it's about time to um, bring balance to your own um, situation to your own happiness to your own heart space that's what i feel like is going going on here but i do feel like there's a there's a, a huge worry or a fear um with with you um taurus because i feel like you're you know you guys represent the knight of um coins and the tarot and that is the wounded warrior so i i would say that you know a lot of you guys probably have been wounded by people and and situations in the past but what you need to know is that not everybody is out um you know <clears throat> not everybody's out to do that so i'm going to pull some cards to see who it is that's coming towards you again 30 day intention read so who is coming towards you um all right so we have the king of swords so this could be somebody that has um air uh, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, pretty heavy in their chart. The King of Swords is business, business minded, somebody who's successful, um, loyal, um, straightforward to the point. They don't, they don't, uh, um, they're, they're not trying to work with the false um, sense of their tongue. I don't feel like this person is going to be very, very upfront and honest. They're going to tell you um, how they feel, what they want. All right. The page of swords coming through with this tells me that this energy is around you. So you could know this person. Um, it could be a confirmation. This is also a delayed news page of swords, um, depicts a, a new beginning. Um, so even if you've had a uh, dealings with this person as like a friend with benefit situation, um, the, uh, dynamic of the relationship is coming in as delayed, um, but with the potential of success. Okay. With the page of swords too, I do, I almost feel like, um, for you guys, Taurus, that you do know this person, like this is going to be a confirmation that, you know, the energy that surrounds you. Um, most likely for some of you, most of you, it's going to be a confirmation read. Um, but you're going to be able to, to pull these vibes off this person, even if you don't actually believe in all the honesty, the loyalty, you're going to, you're going to know, um, this person, um, they might talk, it might sound good, but th you're going to see it, that this person, how they treat themselves, their life, um, their stability and all the energy that surrounds them. That's how you're going to know that this is a confirmation for the person that's on your mind. Um, this energy is, is, um, 
think, um, here's what I'm going to say. So Taurus, if you have dealt with people in the past that have done nothing but mental mind games, because I feel like there's so much um, air energy coming through, this person is going to be the opposite of people that you've dealt with in the past. All right. I just feel like there's a bunch of fear on your end because um, of that potential that I don't want to get hurt. Right. So what is this person like aside from what we know? Um, heavy uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. Look at that. We got the Ace of Wands coming through. So what is this person like? This person's been through all of it. Okay. They're coming through with the Ten of Wands. They've been through a lot of shit too. Um, Ten of Wands says, I I'm done. I'm, I got to let go of, of um, the, the past, the burdens. Think of this as a stitch, um, a wound, all right, on this person's heart. And they're just done. They, they're they they're learning to release that energy. Um, and if you've been a wounded warrior, just know that this person's done been the wounded warrior and, th and they're releasing that those wounds they're releasing they're healing all right um and they're coming into this uh position of um you know new inspiration even if you guys have been casually seeing each other and you don't know the depths of each other um this person has a lot of scars on their heart you guys may have talked about that but this person's coming through i just i can't help but feel like you guys um already interact i feel like it could be based off sex um, but you guys, it's coming through as new energy because you guys haven't had that actual relationship dynamic. And I feel like that's why we're getting these Ace of Wands. Um, because I feel like you guys have had it relations, but you've never, um, it's never been more outside of what you guys want um, physically. Okay. Um, but I do feel like uh, should you choose to move forward with this, um, this person, they come through as the Palace of Swords. And this right here is going to be a depiction of the highest of the high, the highest of the highest uh, um, hierarchy of um, honesty, communication, um, you know, our thoughts, um, our, our prayers, our mental stability. Um, the Palace of the Swords, this is the highest card that you could get in this deck. The fact that it's coming out with the King of Swords and the Page of Swords, this just tells me that this person is really evolved, all right, when it comes to their emotional mindset, their um, um, their intellectual, their, their thought patterns. Um, this person's very, very um, highly elevated. And it could be, too, that, that uh, you don't even know this about this person because you guys have never stepped out of the certain dynamic that you've been in, all right? I feel really heavily that this is a confirmation read, you guys. So for those of you who are single that might be thinking that um, um, you, that you haven't met this person, I, I, I'm just really feeling drawn to. I feel like this is a casual situation. It's a friend with benefit. I feel like it's going to be a confirmation read for you guys. All right. Um, so for you, for those of you who um, are... Um, anticipating somebody new i want to urge you to check your other placements because i feel like th the story right here is is stuck you know we got it um let's just see what's going what happened what's going on around the situation between you and them the four of wands that's that soulmate energy you guys have a very very deep connection to this person all right, the energy that surrounds you guys, look at that. You got the four of wands and the lover. So a huge confirmation with the heart to heart conversations, the soulmate right here. This is, um, uh, it doesn't matter what, um, it does not matter what, what the, uh, um, the situation was. You guys could be friends with benefits, um, for however long you guys could be casually dating. It could just all be all about sex, but I just want to let you know that this, um, connection between you and this person runs really deep. So the sex is probably literally off the charts. We have the ace of wands coming through, uh, both times I'm using two different decks. There's, there's a lot of, um, uh, chemistry. There's a lot of emotional, there's a lot of mental energy between um, you and this person. The lover's card is coming through as confirmation with the four of wands, that twin flame energy that you guys are a connection all right that that's that is um of that divine pairing that divine energy um even if you don't know what that is it just means that you guys are meant to cross each other's paths and this connection is meant to um it's meant to be something deeper the um energy that kind of surrounds you guys is the tower card so i kind of feel like whether it was when you guys meet met past present future um there's there's going to be this uh, tower um so some chaos going around you or them um you know breakups 
family issues, something going on that kind of uh, centers around you guys connecting. I'm not ready for a relationship, so let's build one off of this um, this um, type of situation. And that's how you guys meet, you connect, and move forward. So the potential for uh, long term, the potential for long term, we got the devil card coming through in reverse. Um, really all of these cards. All right. So, um, here's what I'm going to say. The potential for long term is look at, there's some confliction going on and I feel like this is both your guys's, um, energy bodies, the devil, um, and the five of swords in reverse. So what this is telling me is that you guys, um, there's some, um, energy that needs to uh, be drawn out of, um, your, your head or this person's head. All right. Before everything can move forward. Okay. But with the 10 of coins coming through, all right. It, it shows that there is a huge potential for this to be exactly what you want it to be, what you've dreamed it would be with the financial, abundant love, um, the emotional energy. Um, that is all applicable here very much. But what it's showing me right now, so even if you guys are still stuck in this um, type of negative um, outward thinking, um, this is going to be cleared. It has to be cleared in order for you guys to move forward. But the potential is here. All right. The potential is here. And... Um, this negative energy has to be um, cleared. The Three of Swords is even coming through as heartbreak, heartache. Um, so pains, um, loss, suffrage. All right. The Devil card, the heartbreak, the um, everything in the past. There's um, energy here that, that's been stuck in such a way that it's like all they know is, um, um, is what people fucking, you know, um, have, have done to them. All right, but just know you got the 10 of, of coins and the full card coming through. So the long-term potential um, is going to be outstanding. All right, but this energy has to be cleared first. First, There's huge transformations that have to take place first, but you guys will have the um, opportunity to reach this. I just feel like, um, here, here's what I feel. So this is a 30-day intention read. You guys are going to be discovering more of this in the next 30 days because I do feel like for this uh, particular um, situation, you know, this person, I do feel like the heart to heart conversations are going to start happening. Um, and, and I do feel like balance uh, is going to be brought in such a way that nobody is going to end up hurt. But if anything, it's going to be more of the wounded warrior type of energy. We, we got to take it slow. All right. So uh, what you need to know and what your advice is, look at that. You guys, you got the three of cups, the palace of coins, um, the, those, those palace cards, you guys are like the highest of the highest, um, that one could get in this deck. So look, um, your, your, what you need to know and, and what your advice is, is this is the, the other wounded warrior card, this nine of wands. So just know that, um, you guys are experiencing this now, but it's not going to be forever. It's not going to be long term. All right. You're going to see unity with this person. You are, you're going to see unity. You're going to see happiness, um, celebrations and joy. And right here, um, the 10 of the 10 of coins, the palace of coins. Um, this is basically just look at long term, um, longevity, stability, happiness. And it's not just on that emotional level, but on the, the, um, physical plane too. Um, the coin, the money, the happiness, the stability. All right. It's the brick house. Okay. So, um, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to roll some signs to see what signs come through for you guys. So we have Taurus, Gemini, and uh, Capricorn coming through as signs. So those placements could be in this person's chart in the at prominent placements. And I'm going to pull initials. Just know that up here is where we're going at with the meat of the story. <clears throat> All right. So initials we have coming through are V, D. That's funny because this is like a whole freaking read on friends with benefits and casual dating. And then VD comes out T. I don't think that's a side note, but I mean, just make sure you guys are being cautious. Y. A. M. And J. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. You guys, I love you. Please comment if you are experiencing this, um, and, and, uh, leave some of that positive, um, 
Juju for your Torian um, brothers and sisters. Bye, guys.